amazing fluid, oil. It powers our vehicles, flies the aeroplanes, lights our homes, and inspires an occasional war. Oil touches all our lives in myriad ways. Oil is formed from the remains of prehistoric creatures and plants that lived hundreds of millions of years ago. Oil is formed what geologists call hydrocarbon traps. A trap consists of porous rock that acts as sponge and a roof of non-permeable rock to prevent oil from oozing out. When Colonel E. L. Drake drilled the first well to find oil in a big way in Oil Creek, Titusville, USA in 1859, he did so without a plan or survey. He simply drilled an oil seepage and fortunately for him, oil was struck. Drilling by such uncertain methods without scientific information is known as wildcat drilling and the chances of success are very low. Now geologists are able to indicate where oil is likely to be found by studying the geology and rock structures. Seismic survey is the most popular means of obtaining subsurface information. Miniature artificial earthquakes are created with explosives. The shock waves set off by the explosions travel downwards. On reaching a rock layer of a different density from the rocks above it, these waves are reflected back to the surface, picked up by specially provided geophones and recorded on seismographs. The geophysicist learns about the nature of the rocks lying under the surface of the earth. There are clues where oil might be hiding. Once the existence of oil below the surface is established, effort is made to reach it by drilling. The driller now has a treasure map. The massive rig lies in a disassembled state. It's called the rig move time. It's like an army operation. To bring the drilling equipment and men to the location, new roads and bridges are constructed. Oil, the black gold that drives the modern world. The rig is specifically designed to find it. First of all, a steel derrick, which looks like an electricity transmission pylon, is erected. The rig holds thousands of tons of machines. It tapers at the top where the crown block is fixed. From the crown block, hang wire cables run through pulleys in the traveling block. From this traveling block hangs the swivel, which enables the drill pipe to rotate freely. When the derrick has been erected, drilling for oil can start. The beginning of drilling is called spudding in. The drill string consisting of the kelly, the drill pipe, drill collars and the bit is hung from a swivel inside the derrick. The drilling bit, which cuts the rock, has hard metal teeth and can drill through the toughest rocks. When the rotary table turns, the kelly turns with it and twists the drill string and bit down into the ground. Drilling is stopped from time to time for lowering lengths of steel casing into the well bore. It is also stopped for adding more pipes as the hole gets deeper and deeper. Drilling is an art. An experienced driller has a feel for what's happening thousands of meters below. A chemist prepares the specially designed fluid called mud, which is constantly pumped down the drill pipe. This flushes out the particles of rock from the borehole and lubricates and cools the drilling bit. It also controls the pressure created by any water, oil or gas.